done turned winter on us. We were in the 80s yesterday and we didn't get out of the 50s today. But I'm not complaining. That's right, I got my new Bluebird. Another one. Did a, a video earlier on, I, I think it's my last video on these Bluebird pipes and I've got the tomato smoking some of my my blend which is not really well it is blended blended Virginia's this these bluebirds here's my other one my first one I got the the bulldog I love them I'm gonna eventually work my way into a uh, seven pipe set I highly recommend them they're excellent smokers no gurgle uh, either pipe I've I've tried to make it gurgle I've set it down you know sometimes when you set your pipe down you let it go out uh, you set it down five minutes or whatever ten minutes come back and you light it up and you know, the, from cooling down and heating up and cooling back down, um, it condenses inside the, and you get some gurgle. Not with this. And it feels so good in the mouth. Um, I know it's a preference of mine is, is the smaller stems and smaller buttons. A lighter pipe. I like the lightest pipes possible. And I'm about done with this one. It's pretty much smoked down to to ash, but a little more information on those. I knew I know the guy's name. Phil Rivera uh, told me who was the designer of the pipes. And the company that makes them is Molina from Italy. So I knew that it was a major company, um, but it's a um, pipe maker out of Italy, does some beautiful pipes, and he designed all of these in collaboration with Molina. So you're getting a quality, affordable, artisan looking pipe that smokes amazing. And I'm becoming one of their biggest fans. I really am. Um, I don't know, you know as far as there's there's a tomato out there that's it's a, a contrast strength tomato, and it's been sold out. So I don't know. Once these pipes are gone, are they gone? Are they going to continue making them? I don't know. Uh, so. Little Grace, wait till I get my seven day set <laughs> before you grab one. Um, but again, these pipes aren't for everybody. You know, people have different preferences. Some people like larger pipes. Um, some people like, you know, thick walled pokers and, you know, and, you know, I just prefer the smaller pipes. Like my Costellos, I, I prefer a rusticated 2K size. Um, it's perfect for me, and I enjoy sandblasted rust rusticated pipes because <clears throat> you can ask Hobbit and Piper. I'm a, I'm a rim scorcher. Um, it's just a fact. I scorch the rim, and I, I, when I get a smooth pipe, <clears throat> it, it's almost like I don't want to smoke it because I know the rim's going to get scorched. Um, and I know there are solutions to that, but old habits are hard to break. I'd rather not have to sit and think about when I'm smoking a pipe. I just want to light it up and go. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to care. And so we get the, the sandblaster rusticated with you know all the way. To, I ain't got to worry about it. Scorch away. <laughs> anyway, love these bluebirds. They're amazing. Um, I'm not real big on the name bluebird. What kind of pipe you're? I'm smoking a bluebird. I mean. I'm, not, I'm some kind of fancy name instead of bluebird. It's, I don't know. 
a nightingale would be better. You know, I'm smoking a nightingale. So there's my advice. You know, Melina, scratch the bluebird name. One thing, the one thing that I do not like about the bluebirds, and I've colored it in, but on the side they leave a patch where they put their little logo. And it's supposed to be the color of this, the, the ring, the briar ring. And it come, the, that color would come out to here. But it's like the paint kind of, it's just not very well done. So I take a Sharpie <laughs> and I colored it in. So I couldn't see that. And I made the, the ring all the way around myself. Oh man, that's all I've got. They're great. Anyway, God bless all.